one of the things we've just been putting in for some of these grants is, you know, what does it look like to have a system that is smart in the house, smart in your home, gives what you what you need, but then opens it up to having a whole bunch of interactions with other people who are not on the same retailer, who don't have the same devices as you, who have a different demographic to you. Maybe they have the same demographic. It doesn't really matter. But the whole point is, what does a community built around energy and, and, and low emissions, low carbon uh, energy production and consumption and sharing really look like? And it doesn't really look like a super closed off system. It comes back to what we talked about in like 2019 on the ecology of energy. There's this reciprocal altruism that needs to come through, which will actually benefit the, the society at large, as well as the individual. And I think that's why when we came back, we, we always talk about this, David, it's like, you know, that's why holochain is so important to us, because that's sort of built into the core of it. Um, and that's why Art and Eric and everyone has been so supportive. It's like, it's, it's actually a fundamental component of what we're going to build rather than a kind of nice tack on at the end. So I think when Sim is talking about this, like we've done these transactions and settlements at Monash, that's really cool. It's really important because it's the engine that drives us, what we talked about with Mike last time. But what's then the kind of key thing for us is this thing that sits on top that people get and understand. And like, that's the, one of the biggest challenges when you're doing deep tech is like, no one gets it. Like we don't get it sometimes. So, so it's like, how do we then translate it and make it really real? And so that's kind of what, what Alex has been doing and doing a great job of making it real for people.